we created the new project and also invited a member to to collaborate with us but even if we did so we still don't have we, if we go to Revit and try to open a new file we won't be able to 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 see the even the folder the project folder under under the BIM 360 uh, tab under the open window in Revit and even if uh, the the other users the other user go to, goes to to BIM 360 docs under the document management he's not able to see any folder or any structure that we we were able to see here on uh, the plans and the file project file section as an admin so the next thing to do is to create um, to create teams so this is a new workflow that this vim360 design is presenting to us we go to project admin under the services tab we will see design collaboration so under design collaboration the project admin will be able to assign new team so let's create a new team 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 architect architectural team and we'll add it there are a couple of other options here we can select the default location for creating teams like for example we can now it's gonna this 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 new team is gonna become a folder under the project files directory but also we can we could create another folder inside project files like uh, let's say the, the team folder this is gonna be the team folder inside the projects uh, files and inside that team folder it will create subfolders for every team team that we want create the, we want to create so the idea is to create a team per discipline or the way that you are gonna split the work and the collaboration for this for this uh, specific project before uh, in the old cloud using BIM 360 team and collaboration for Revit once you invited the uh, a user to the project he will be able to access all the projects all the the Revit models collaborated in that in that in that project so this is kind of different you're giving permission to to access some projects uh, some models and and in charge of uh, edit other models in the case of uh, the models that are shared with you you will be able to to link them into your project but you won't be able to modify it so let's see how this looks like after creating our first team so we'll go back to document management and we see that a new folder was created and also a shared folder was created uh, with the same name of the team so basically if you're assigned to a textual team you're gonna you're gonna have to collaborate the files under this folder here so let's create let's create a new let's create a new team so we'll go through the process again we'll add a new team team 2 team say this is furniture we're gonna add the team the team was created also I think I forgot to mention this if you already have a folder under a project file section you can assign that folder to to that team in that case it won't create a new a new a new folder so you can you could select the folders here that you want to assign to this team that we just created but in this case we don't have we don't want to do that and we'll just close we'll go back to the document management and we will see that that the the other the other team was created and under shared another folder was created as well on the next video we'll see how to assign members to those teams